Thousands of people take a DNA test every year. For Kathy Gilchrist, the journey to learn more about her family history started in 2017. I had the option to check a little box that says I was an adopted child. I would be interested in finding um, siblings or uh, other relatives. The DNA test brought back a first match. Her third cousin, Susan Gilmore, a successful genealogist in Maine. We were first of all amazed that we were a lot alike. We both were English majors. We were both teachers. Since unlocking the secrets to ancestry is Gilmore's profession, she decided to help Gilchrist get more answers. And by far, the hardest part was finding her father. So I'm looking at the surnames, I'm looking at names in common, I'm looking at geography, and his name was William Bradford Bishop Jr. And that's the problem. The U.S. government has been trying to track William Bradford Bishop down since the 70s. He's accused of brutally murdering his wife and three children. In 2014, he was named to the FBI's most wanted list. She goes, okay, I found your father. All I'm going to do is give you his name. I said, so, well, is it someone famous? And she said, um, yeah. I just laughed. I laughed. We have a great sense of humor in my um, adoptive family. And um, I thought, of course my father's a murderer. And I As for if Kathy's mom knew I of her father's dark past, she isn't sure. But she's glad yeah. she didn't find out until she was older and is more than happy with those who helped raise her. I think she knows, and I think she's smiling that we all accepted each other. 